My name is Carlos Carvalhal. I'm Mario Av uh, manager. Uh, I'm here to answer questions to ask the coach. Well, we have lucky in Portugal because we have a lot of talent players. So after Cristiano Ronaldo, this is the question. Um, I don't think that we need a big player in the future, I must tell you, because we have a lot of talent around a team. And the team, Cristiano Ronaldo, it was important, still very important. I'm very proud to be with Cristiano Ronaldo in my country and help my national team. I'm really a fan of him. But um, probably the future will not depend too much about one player and will depend a lot of, a lot of talent that we have in Portugal. Uh, João Félix is one of the, the promised players to the future. Um, Bernardo Silva is another player very creative. So you have more players coming. You know, we have a Portuguese boy that uh, Barcelona buy him to Braga, Trincão, Twinger with a lot of talent also. All the years are appear new talents. So I believe that Portugal will be in a high level in the future. But uh, probably will not depend just a, a player like Cristiano Ronaldo. will depend more of a group of the talent players that really we have in the moment. You must be a leader. And you must, in my opinion, you must born like a, a leader. Because leadership is something that you must be with this kind of attribute inside. So after to, if you have this kind of uh, ability, uh, you must develop your, your uh, leadership. And you must, uh, of course, take decisions all the time. Don't be afraid to take the decisions. Um, you must know exactly what you want, follow what you want. Um, at same time, I think it's important that you must be flexible because sometimes the things that you are, you project um, is not working and uh, you can't go against um, a wall. But you must insist, insist and check all the time um, if it's possible to achieve really what you want or not. If not, of course, uh, you must be flexible to, to change. But more important is um, you must drive people, you must put the people follow you. I, I have um, experience in different countries and different countries, um, there are something important that even in countries or inside the country, you must re respect the philosophy of the clubs, of the country also. So there are things that even if you go to a country, if you go to a club, you have your ideas and you must adapt it sometimes when you go to a different country or a different club. Uh, it's something that um, I do all the time. It's important that you know the culture of the club, the history of the club, which um, kind of football the, the fans uh, like it uh, in, in the club. These kind of things is in, very important to create your, your project, your idea. It's something that uh, you must know, you must know about that. I start with 32 years old like a manager. I have 54 now. If you ask me if I am the same manager uh, since I start, I'm completely different manager, completely different. My ideas about positive football, what I like the football, attacking football, still the same. But the way that I manage the things is completely different. I'm a manager that I manage different systems during my, my career. I play in 4-4-2 in Diamond when I was in Sporting. I, I play in 4-3-3 when I was in Besiktas. I play 4-4-2 Classic when I was in, in, um, in Sheffield Wednesday. I played with three on the back when, uh, when I was in, the, in Swansea, for example. I never put my system in front of the players. I try to check which players I have, the, the best ability of the players, and after, create an environment that the players can be successful in that system and, and can give the maximum to the team. In Beşiktaş, for example, Quaresma is a player that uh, very good individual skills, is not too much, 100% tactical. I want the best of Quaresma. So I, what I want, I want the minimum 
that uh, uh, there are minimums that whatever must must give to the team, and I can give the maximum of of freedom to 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 Quaresma, but you must give the minimum to the team to the organization. So it's the way that I understand the game. I understand the football. But so I progress like that uh, in different systems. Try to play good football, positive football, uh, with our organization, with our principles. But put the players first than the system because if the players give the maximum, I have the maximum of the team. But I try something different in Rio Ave. You need to to make a risk in your career, and everybody here understand. And some some friends of mine. Uh, asked me how you was in the Premier in in England and you come back to Portugal to a medium team. It's a big risk to your career. Maybe if you are not successful, you maybe you drive like a, a manager. It's a big risk. So I take the risk. I like risks. We like our our stuff. And the risk is a calculated risk because we try our, we 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 believe in ourselves. Of course it's important. But I want to try something new. I want to put something new on the pitch. I want to uh, create something new. In the beginning of the season, it was really very hard. The, result, the results was not so good in the beginning of the season. It was difficult to the players to understand what we wanted. We must believe in our ideas and we must go with our ideas at the limit. There are one time that you must change. When you see that I can't because this is not working here, I'm I'm open mind to to change but you must insist and we insist we insist we insist and in the second part of the season we jump a lot of positions we are in fifth everybody recognizes that we have play one of the best football in the country we play uh, offensive football we don't consider too many goals because we achieve a balance between goals that we score and and we we, we don't consider it and the team is a problem to the opponents. We can feel the team is a problem to the opponents because the opponents never know how we will start and what we'll do during the game. And my players are ready to change the system because to them, the system is not important. It's the concept of the game, the way that they understand the concepts that drive everything. Really, I'm very happy about that. This is a big motivation because if you go season by season, act all the time the same way, and if you change things, you put challenge to yourself, you are better and better and you push to be yourself. So um, to answer the question, it was a big progression since we started now. And now, definitive, we, we have an idea that really we jump, we jump to another level in this moment. To see the full Q&A and for more exclusive content from top-level professional and academy coaches, subscribe to the Coaches Voice Academy at academy.coachesvoice.com.